caught your stomach jacked. The sick pack. Sexy. Tell me a little bit about your training. I know the gym now is integrating more conjugate. What have you been on and do you know any of the differences? You know, we've been doing a linear progression system for a very long time. Running that 10-10, uh, 8-8, and 5-5-3 uh, deload 2-1. And uh, I've had a lot of success with it. We've run it for about four training cycles now. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with conjugate personally, so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying something new in here. See if I can get better at where I'm weak, like the squat. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a nice change of pace. Nice. Did you do your winning warm-up? I did my winning warm-up. Okay, we're ready to go then. Feel destroyed. Here you go. So, tell me a little bit about why you wash your hands in the men's room. Well, why in the men's room? Because yeah. that allowed me the women's. <laughs> um, you know, part of the conjugate programming for a long time. Are there any, what is your preference? Obviously I'm assuming it's conjugate, but of course. Why are, why wouldn't the whole team or guys switch over to conjugate instead of, did we see these guys on a linear progression? Would you think it would benefit them better to switch over? Well, for a new lifter? If, if they don't know any different, no. Because that's what they were brought up with. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So they don't know any different, so they, you know, just like raw and, and gear, you know, some people look better in gear than in raw. So to your question, the new guys only know one method. They never, they don't want to learn the other method. So they'll never know what's better, you know. So. What do you think is better? I think Connor is way better for me, for me personally. Two, three, up. Get her linear. Why are you looking down at me? Do I prefer? I prefer the program. Best program is the one you're not doing. The, oh, like old saying the grass is always greener? Always greener. Watch me now. Let's go! Single or triple? 
One, three, three reps. Stay close. Three reps. Let's go. So tell me a little bit about today's workout. I saw that uh, everyone was kind of taking it up pretty heavy today. Yeah, so this week's been really good. It's our last week of ones in a linear progression. Um, we worked up to a heavy single before adding the slingshot. Uh, I got so fired up today, I bashed my forehead on a bar. It's definitely not a meth scratch. Um, it's definitely because of the bar. Uh, so we worked up to a heavy single. I hit 410, which matches about uh, my last meet. I hit 407 in my last meet at 181. My goal is to go for uh, 424. Uh, 48 no, fuck that, 424. I'm going for 424 in September, so I need to slap another 14 pounds on that. And then followed up with 535 and one of our brand new slingshot prototypes that we've been working on. So it's been really cool to see the team progress over the past year. We have a lot of new faces, a lot of people have been coming in on a regular basis, which has been really awesome to see. Uh, some really cool stuff going on here at uh, Super Training Gym, some expansion going on, so really excited to have all these new people. And as we transition this last week from a linear style of training, we're going to go into more of a conjugate style, thanks to our boy Jesse Burdick. He slapped us over four weeks of training that we're going to play around with and see how we like it. So we're looking forward to getting back to some of the roots of Super Training Gym with Mark and some of his West Side uh, experiences. So we're, it's, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a nice challenge going for one rep maxes and three rep maxes and eight rep maxes. And, uh, it's going to be a change from going from 10s, 8s, 5s, 3s, 2s, and 1s. So, Super Training Gym, we're out.